I just want to let this run for a second because I have a feeling if she's gone in a flash, I'll never see one of these for the rest of my life. What on earth is going on here? Maybe I can zoom more in on her. This camera's really cooperating today. Focus. This is just me playing with this rig. There's some nice eyes. I keep thinking it's like baby spiders on her abdomen. What else would that be? I guess I'm just gonna have to keep working this. Yes, look, they are baby spiders crawling all over her back. I knew it. Oh my God, I've never seen anything like that in my life. She's carrying her young on her abdomen. Can you believe it? I love it. There's jillions of babies there. I'm gonna get closer and closer and hopefully won't scare her away. Talk about a good mother, huh? Can you believe that? They have no problem at all with predators at the moment. <laughs> That's so cool. My God, look at the front end of that arthropod, arachnid. You want any of my babies? Help yourself. <laughs> okay, hang on, I wanna maybe cut this. I've gotta see if I can get in closer on those little young. That's got to be a disturbing scene <laughs> to open with. <laughs> Death on eight legs. <laughs> Show us your eyes, Mom, and your, your marvelous fangs there. There you are. Wow. Thank you for the show. There they go. They're repositioning again. Because <laughs> Mom's moving. Thank you. A 360. Wow. You're beyond cool, Mom. You are the best thing I've ever filmed out here. Bar none. Look at the face on her. Isn't she something? Okay, back to your children a little bit. Whoops. And there she's got however many are back there. Uh -huh. Look at them all. Will somebody please get up and go to the bathroom so I can watch you walk? <laughs> Look at that, it's like this tangle of spiders on her. You know, when I looked at her from the first, you know, when I walked up to her bare eye, oh, there's one walking. <laughs> and I, anyway, I looked at her bare eyed and aside, the first thing that took me was her sheer size, which, you know, some of these wolf spiders here can come close to tarantula size. And then her back, it looks like she's wearing, not a wool, maybe a wool sweater just for her abdomen to keep it warm. It looks more like a fabric from far away. It doesn't look buggish on her back. And they're so equally distributed on her. It had a almost cloth weave to it. Well, anyway, what a marvelous creature. I guess I'm gonna call it here. Thank you, Miss Wolf, for the find of the century for me.